I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. This exercise is called Charleston modeling because we're going to take 13 or 14 random tiles, identify the strength in that dealt hand, and then practice making decisions through the Charleston. And then we'll repeat the exercise. The Charleston is critical to the game. It's actually half of the game. It's like part one. Part two is when you pick and discard. So if you can set yourself up for success with the Charleston, you could potentially be maybe four tiles away from a winning hand if you make the right decisions at the right time. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to roll these dice to determine which player we are. I rolled an 8, so we're going to be player 4. Non-dealer, I will get 13 tiles. We have a joker, a flower, dragons, here's dots, cracks, bams, four, two, three, all singles, no multiples. If this were your starting hand, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would play a year hand. We have eight tiles that could be used in the year category. I wouldn't pick a hand. I'm just going to keep every tile that can be used in that category, no matter what the suit is. There are winds and dragons in that category, so I would hold them. So that's seven tiles. We have a one, two maybe something consecutive as an option. And we do have tiles we can pass. So let's pass those three and focus on a year hand or maybe something consecutive. We've got a dragon and a west. We have two tiles to pass, so we have to make a decision. We did form a multiple. So I would reassess completely. I would build around this multiple now. There is a year hand that uses dragons and we actually have 2019 right there. All we need is a red dragon or a white dragon to build up our other dragon. Because we have this dragon we do have the potential for a 369 hand right there. 369 knitted, third hand down, five tiles. Year hand with dragons, six tiles. Either option, we didn't use these tiles over there. So just by process of elimination, we have a pass and we can stop the analysis will just pass. We got a keeper with a potential year hand. I would give up on the 369 knitted because you don't need flowers. We only need one tile to pass. I think I would keep the six and give up the three. If we happen to get 369, we might be able to play the 369 concealed hand, but I think the year hand with dragons looks pretty good if we can just get one more dragon. We got a nine bam. 
three, six, nine potential right here. Six tiles. We have a gap, no three. We could use the joker though. Here we have eight tiles towards the, the year with dragons. That's what I would focus on. I would let this go and pass these. We've got a three, nine, three, nine, three, six, nine potential now. Back to this, three, six, nine, three, six, nine with dragons, six tiles. But here again, we have eight. I would let it go. There's a dragon. This particular hand has some people confused. This would be the third hand down under the year category. Pair of flowers, Kong of dragons with the year, and then a Kong of another dragon. The dragons are two different colors and then the number tiles are a different color. So we do have on the card three colors, but in the parentheses it says any two or three suits. So it's okay to use a white dragon even if you're using dots. We're going to need more white dragons or red dragons. I think I would stick with it and discard these. No keepers here. So we can pass three for the optional cross. No keepers, we have three discards and we have a hand with no gaps. Year hand with dragons. For the next one, we're going to be in East Seat since I rolled a nine. We have a joker, flower, west, dots with a pair. So there's five dots, four cracks with a pair, and then two single bams. If this were your dealt hand, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would focus on the multiples, eight, nine. Eight, nine is consecutive, so that's the category I would play. I would hold every consecutive number around my multiples. In this case, six through nine, six, seven, eight, nine. We don't have any sixes, but we do have seven, eight, nine. and we have tiles to pass. I wouldn't pick a hand, although there are a few hands we could play. I would wait because we have discards. If you have discards, you really don't have to pick a hand. We got a nine and a six. We have one discard, so now we pick a hand. I would look at the multiples. We have eight, nine, and nine. 
8989. There is a hand with 8989. We have a gap though, and that gap is a pair. This would be the sixth hand down under this category. So I don't know if I would play that. Let's see here. If we do, we could also maybe do seven, eight, nine mixed suit Kongs. This would be the third hand down. We could also do seven, eight, nine with eights in the middle concealed. Seven, eight, nine. We have no other eights though. We need to come up with two more tiles to pass. We could maybe do six, seven, eight, nine, second hand down. Six, seven, eight, nine, second hand down. Pung Kong, Pung Kong. Or we could do seven, eight, nine, mix suit, or one suit Kongs. We do have all the nines. So we are on a cross pass. We have to pass fully here. So we just have to decide. There are a lot of options. So I would just pick something to focus on. We could do, let's see here, seven, eight, nine, one suit, like numbers with nines, six, seven, eight, nine. We need one more tile to pass. Let's give up the nine bam. Don't want to spread yourself too thin. Let's stay in consecutive run. We've got a five. We have a potential for consecutive run five through nine. We also have a potential for eight, nine dragon at this point. Seven, eight, nine, eight, nine dragon. Let's give up on the five. Let's see here. Maybe keep the five and pass these two. Focus on consecutive one suit. Let's pass these three. We got a flower. That would take my focus. I would give up on five through nine since we have flowers. I would focus on either eight, nine dragon with flowers or seven, eight, nine. So these hands would be the third hand down one suit or the fourth hand down. So we have lots of tiles to pass now. Let's hold the five and pass these three. We got another flower. Since we have another flower, we could play eight, nine dragon. And we have one of each suit to pass. No keepers this time. No keepers for optional cross. So we have five discards, but no gaps. I think I would keep the seven for an option. We're between two different hands, third hand down and fourth hand down. So I would start by discarding these. I rolled a nine, we're gonna be player one.
we have a dragon, three dots including a pair, four cracks including a pair. We have six bams including a pair. If this were your dealt hand, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would build around the multiples. Consecutive run, five through eight. Probably not use this dragon. Five, six, seven, eight. I wouldn't pick a hand. I would pick discards out of these and just hold every five, six, seven, eight until I run out of discards. So let's pass these three. We got a flower and a seven and a five. We have one tile to pass, so I would pick a hand or whittle this down. So we have a pair of fives and a pung of fives. Five, six, seven, five, six, seven. What about five, six, seven concealed? Five, six, seven with six in the middle. Right here, six and six. That's one option. Or we could do five, six, seven Kongs. We could do, there is the five, six, seven, eight, eight, fourth hand down, five, six, seven, eight. We have no eight dot, and we'd have to throw away one of the fives. I think I would give up the eights. I would not pass a flower. Since we don't have all the fives, we don't have a five crack, I would break this up and focus on five, six, seven in BAMs and maybe the concealed hand. So I would break these up. We have options, five, six, seven Kongs or five, six, seven concealed. We got a seven and a six. We have tiles to pass, so we don't have to pick a hand yet, but I think that concealed hand looks really good. No keepers. We did right across left. We have four tiles to pass. We have no gaps for the concealed hand. Five, six, seven with sixes. I would continue the Charleston and pass. No keeper. No keepers. We got a six. We have two flowers and a three. Five, six, seven with sixes. I would say I want one, but what I would do is stay quiet. I would wait for my opponent to ask me for optional. I wouldn't be proactive in the request. If they say, I have three, I would say, how about one? And see how they respond. Typically, if somebody has one tile, I decline because look how close we are to our hand. Typically, if they have one tile, they're close to their hand. I would not pass flowers. I just wouldn't do it. We could say I want three, but look what we would be given them. I would say one, and if declined, I would just discard. I'd probably discard the flowers first and focus on the concealed hand. If you are new to the game and you have a set of tiles at home, practice Charleston modeling between games. It will build your confidence. Focus on identifying the strength in your dealt hand, whether it be multiples or the predominant pattern. Gather tiles that support those to identify discards and then create your pass with those discards. When you run out of discards, 
whittle down your options that you've been gathering or pick a hand to release more discards. The idea here is that you want to continually have three tiles to pass. Once you get those three tiles, stop the analysis because all you need is three. Move the Charleston along. When you get to that place where you have less than three, then you could take your time, maybe whittle down and pick a hand. I do have videos that talk through these strategies, so look in the video description below to find those. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston modeling for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.